For now, we want to get you out to Van 2, who is following breaking news for us tonight in Sassoon City, south of Fairfield, where homes have burned, Van. What happened? Well, Chris, you can see behind me, flames still burning three to four hundred acres of marshland behind me since it ignited at 3.30. I just got word from the fire chief, the final count, three homes have been destroyed and four damaged. People, though, are starting to return to the neighborhood since the fire no longer threatens the neighborhood. There are still 153 PG&E customers without power, but luckily no injuries to report in this very challenging fire. Whipping winds and searing triple-digit temperatures fueled a hungry inferno into the Pierce Gardens neighborhood of Sassoon City Wednesday afternoon. I looked up out of my kitchen window, flames right behind the house. It was just a sea of red out there. More than 200 firefighters from the region rushed to the neighborhood of 100 homes, battling the quickly moving four-alarm fire, which gobbled up several homes on Maple Street. I just that pooped on fire, and then there was no help in it after that. Others doused their homes with water for protection. I ain't never seen no fire like this. This is crazy right here. Neighbors also rushed to the Sassoon Wildlife Rescue Center to save the dozens of animals just hundreds of feet from the fire. Firefighters made a tough call to save as many as possible. Cut these chains and let these animals go. Uh, but they had to get out of there. Some owls died, but foxes and coyotes fending for themselves survived. And that just makes me so happy to know that people cared so much about this place. In the midst of chaos, neighbors are counting blessings. Firemen found my iPhone in there and it still works. That's one miracle. Thanking first responders, answering the call in the worst of time. This is one more thing for 2020. Whoever's playing Jumanji just needs to close it because between riots, uh, coronavirus, um, fire activity and everything else going on. Um, this has been a, a very, very, very rough year for the fire service. A rough year indeed. Now, Chris, there is no word on the cause of this fire. Investigators have not entertained rumors that this was started by a homeless encampment, but they note that there have been four homeless encampment fires in Sassoon City this week alone. And they also add that the city has seen twice as many fires this year compared to this time last year while the city facing a budget shortfall. Back to you. My goodness, our thoughts are certainly with those families impacted tonight. Van 2, we thank you for the update.